Hello everyone, sorry this episode's a couple of days late. We had a pretty crazy party for our 100 subscriber celebration and we're now just recovering. It's been a fairly productive week. Um, we've upgraded the lighting in the garage, cleaned it all up so we can get Misty tucked away for the winter. Yeah, we've uh, done some rust hunting in the door sills. And managed to fix the speedo. That's about it. Yeah. I believe so. Um, Onto the footage stuff. Although Misty's sills look solid from the outside, they contain some foam that can trap water causing them to rust from the inside, so now we're going to check for that. I need a different screwdriver, sir. We start by removing the handle that opens the engine compartment, which then allows us to pull off the trim panel. Next we remove the seatbelt inertia reel, which gives us access to the foam and the rust it may be hiding. The foam we pulled from the driver's side didn't show much rust, which was a good sign. And once we got a camera down into the sill, we could see that although there was some surface rust, it wasn't rotten through. We should be able to clean it up and treat it without having to resort to welding. Unfortunately, the passenger side is not the same story, as the foam has a lot more rust showing. And once I get a camera down inside, we can see that there's a huge amount of rot in there, and I was able to push a spanner right through it, so that's definitely going to need welding. As you saw in episode one, Misty's Speedo has never quite worked properly. The original owner told us that the problem was with the Speedo Drive sender unit and even included a replacement one with the sale, although he'd included one for an automatic car so it wouldn't have been any use. I'd always suspected the speed sensor wasn't the actual problem, as when we turned the car on but it wasn't moving, the Speedo read about 45 miles an hour, which is more likely to be caused by a damaged circuit board than a broken sensor. So I pulled the speedo out and I could see some pretty serious burn marks along a lot of the tracks on the circuit board. This could definitely be the cause of our speedo's erratic behaviour. So I bought a used instrument cluster from eBay and inserted it into Misty's gaping hole. When I turned the ignition on, the speedo stayed at zero, which is a good sign. All the other gauges and lights appeared to be working, although we won't know for sure until she's road legal and we can take her for a proper drive. So now that we've established the new clocks work, there's still one issue with them, and that is that the mileage is wrong. Our car has 143,000 miles on it, whereas these clocks are only showing 99,000 miles. So the next thing to do is fix that. Taking these apart is fairly straightforward. First thing to do is remove these two metal brackets. Next you have to unclip these eight tabs around the edge. Once you've got them started it's a good idea to wedge something in there to hold it open otherwise they have a habit of snapping back into place. These four screws here are the only thing holding the speedo and odometer in place. With the speedo free we can get a better look at what we're now working with. So now I need to remove this plastic fascia which means first removing the needle and then undoing these two screws. These cogs along the back here lock the wheels in place and also wind each one on when the previous one gets past nine. 
Keep hold of this spring so that it doesn't fly off and then using a small flathead screwdriver gently push the wheels backwards until they disengage. And now we can adjust the mileage. Next you need to reattach the spring making sure that all its fingers engage in the right place on the cogs. Now just gently clip the cogs back into place. And that's it, our mileage is now reading correct so it's ready to go back together and then back in the car. So at the end of last week's episode we'd spent £385.98. This week we spent £20 on a new speedo and we also joined the UK MR2 Owners Club which cost £12 for the year, something I'd highly recommend anyone doing if they're working on a car. This brings our new total spend to £417.98. Thank you for watching and staying with us this far. Um, Happy New Year. Well, hopefully we'll get an episode out before the new year, but just in case, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, see you on the other side. See you next year. The skull looked inside the asshole. <laughs> um, I've bought Matt a unicorn. Have you? No. Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs>